I wanted to ask the community something because maybe I'm naive and I don't know. Being a cocaine addict for 30 years, on and off. How long does it take you to? How long does it take you to get addicted to anything? How long does it take to get addicted to just drinking? Oh, a little bit longer. I, I, if you're in college for three years, I, I could say that some would be alcoholics. Uh, was alcoholics before they came. Some was pill poppers before they came. And then they think of uh, how they can get free pills and, and uh, get paid too. So three years or however long they go in college is a long, uh, long enough to be addicted. The, the chemical has the same effect on a person trying to do good in college than a thief trying to get some uh, uh, some money the wrong way. Both of them get caught on drugs. Or they get a, 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 um, addicted to drugs. You can't think, you cannot be naive enough to think that because they're smart and they're college people that they know what an addiction is and they know how to turn it on and off. They don't. They're, they're just kids. And, and, and the parents condone them they they can get high and oh we used to get high and we used to do a lot of things in college but they never tell you never tell you how many years after that uh that they were drug dope addicts or they were uh failed marriages or stuff like that certain people can do drugs and, and leave them i've seen it i've seen it and i couldn't understand it because the chemical effect on a body is the same uh, with, uh, especially when you talk about cocaine, I don't know about meth, and, and uh, I know heroin. The chemical effect is the same on anybody. You know, uh, you, you need them drugs, and then if you feel like you can get away with them, if nobody noticed them, if it's wintertime, you wearing your shirt, and you sticking needles wherever y'all stick them, then nobody would notice them until it's too late until you, you're so far addicted. So I'm trying to save your community. Do drug tests. Do drug tests for on the college people when they get in. Their, their uh, level might be a little high. After two months, their level should go down. If they're, they're doing what they're supposed to do, it should go down. They shouldn't have any kind of heroin, no pills, unless it's prescribed to them. Because it has an effect on how they treat people in the VA. We already on pills and, and uh crazy as hell we don't need no crazy as hell doctors there too so what i'm saying is the the uh the director of the hospital can if she truly want to make that hospital better do drug tests random drug tests right now right now and then she can get rid of those people that she wanted to get rid of because she just didn't like them and it was something about them that she couldn't put her hands on and that's what it is now that's that's an easy thing to do. Ain't nobody gonna say, "Oh no, no, shit, that's against our rights." No, you don't supposed to be do drugs and, and in the hospital working on people. So I'm gonna see if she does it. I'm gonna see if anybody else brings it up in the news, because these are people that one day you gonna have some people out of your community when this war starts, and it's just gonna start. They have to go to that VA and they're going to get messed up. And you're going to be like, damn, I didn't think he had to go there. You know, because everybody got money or whatever up here. You're supposed to if you're up here. And um, because if you don't, you're only supposed to stay up here uh, unless you want to go to jail. But uh, do the random drug test. I, I guarantee you it'll be a flood of people out of there and it'll be another flood coming in. People ain't getting high. The smartest people in the world is the, uh, is from Singapore. With education, Singapore. Why don't you get some of them people up there? Shit. Sure. And, I mean, I just look. You know, it's uh, a couple of black people over the last couple of days. Old uh, big boy singing down the street. Got his college uh, for free and, and a girl, but not because they they uh, they were black or minorities. They were smart and they they uh, they had uh, a lot of sacrifices in between their yeah, life. Life caught up with them. How many white people are from Phoenix have I seen that? None. I haven't seen 
any white people from Phoenix that, that lived in this community, they got a, 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 a scholarship for free. And unless it was some bullshit soccer or some some hockey or some shit. But uh, y'all better do the drug test, though. Because if anything ever happened like it happened now, shoot, uh, the doctor going to have to do the drug test. Because I'm the first thing I'm going to say, he, he looked like he was high. You know, like he didn't understand what I was saying. I told him my records were at every hospital of evasive surgeries. And he just let me sit up here and get worse. And, and the rest of the hospital. Every time I would go to my primary care doctor, he sent me back to uh, Dr. Reardon. When I go to the director, she sent me back to Dr. Reardon. What the hell is going on? Y'all ain't gonna make no monkey out of me, no test monkey. If I tell you what's, what, uh, what the rest of the hospitals have done for me, why should you, you supersede that and, and just uh, say, no, nah, we ain't gonna do that. I ain't white. I don't need no melanoma treatment and, and uh, shrinking my uh, pores. What the hell wrong with you? He just wanted to see if it'll work on blacks, and I ain't got time for that. That's my video.